الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله عليه وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ثم اما بعد First of all I would like to invite you all inshallah ta'ala this is coming Wednesday to our uh, uh, program after Salat al-Isha Salat al-Isha is 7:30 and the program will begin immediately after that inshallah tabarak wa ta'ala until 9:30 bi idnillah azza wa jal This program is uh, uh, it's actually a panel between myself and Imam uh, Yasin from uh, uh, from Plano Imam Masjid Plano the discussion, inshallah, will be it's a parental advice from the surah or from Surah Luqman. And inshallah, going to be two parts. I'll be speaking about an advice to the parents, and Imam Yassi will be speaking an advice to the children. So it's a family program. We would like from all of you to come and bring your family, inshallah, ta'ala, and your children to come and listen to this. Also, Qari uh, Abdul Karim, inshallah, will be present. He will lead Salat al Isha for us, and he will recite Surah Luqman, inshallah, ta'ala, at the beginning of the program. So this is going to be this coming Wednesday. Mark your calendars and come and bring your family, inshallah. Over here, yeah. it's over here, actually. It's going to be here, inshallah. <coughs> now, and it can also be, pro- be actually be broadcast live. So, if someone is going to be actually outside the, the Valley Ranch community, uh, out of state, even they can watch us, inshallah, they're live at 7 uh, 45 uh, central time, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Imam al Nawi rahimahullah wa ta'ala, wa ta'ala, qul firad salihin, fi babi husn khuluq, the same chapter, the, the good conduct. قال الإمام النووي رحمه الله عن أبي أمامة الباهلي رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أنا زعيم ببيت في ربض الجنة لمن ترك المراءة وإن كان محقا The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم speaks in this hadith right now about qualities of good conduct, good manners The first one he said صلى الله عليه وسلم I guarantee, I guarantee an abode means a, a, a eternal life within the boundary of paradise for one who gives up arguing off even if he is in the right. This is the first quality. The Prophet ﷺ is saying that I guarantee al-jannah for you. I guarantee eternal life. If you leave disputation and <coughs> argumentation, even if you are right. And because usually when people they fight, they, they argue. No one is going to be arguing knowing that he is wrong. Unless of course when they do that, they become bitter argumentative. But when someone argue about something, most likely they have at least in their belief that they're right and that's why they argue. The Prophet ﷺ is making difference between al-mira wal al-jidal. So when you have mira, jidal, and niqash, hiwar in the Arabic language, different actually titles, different words for dialogue, uh, discussion, argument, <coughs> and so on. So when you uh, when you discuss with people, that's hiwar, dialogue with people, that's hiwar. That's that's actually recommended. Uh, and, but when you make a debate, that is also considered something academic, and it's good. But al-mira is different. Al-mira when becomes just for the sake of argument. When the discussion turns into just an argument, just for the sake of argument. No one is really benefiting from it, and they're only trying just to enforce their stances on these issues, and they have no interest in listening to the opposite side. There's a difference between sitting and speaking with someone with an open mind, Maybe they might say something that might change your position. Because in this case, you're going to be learning something new. Versus sitting there, closing your mind, and just listening for them until they finish. Without trying even to understand what they say at all. Al-Imam al-Nawi, rahimahullah, Imam al-Shafi, rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi, yaqul. It basically is etiquette in, in debate or discussion. He says, Qawli sawab yahtamil al-khata. Wa qawlu ka khata yahtamil al-sawab. Meaning, when I talk, when we discuss, my opinion, for me, my opinion is right, but it's possibly, it, it, possibly it, it could be wrong. And your opinion to me is wrong, but it could be right. Which means he always opened open, uh, uh, the discussion for, for an objective you know, uh, uh, dialogue or debate. So basically, I speak uh, with full confidence that my opinion is right until you prove me otherwise. And when you talk to me, I assume that your opinion is wrong, until you prove me, you prove it otherwise. If you start with that kind of attitude when you discuss with people, you will always, inshallah, ta'ala, end in, in good terms, and you will always find the truth be the Allah Azza wa Jal. But if you start the dialogue by saying, my opinion is right, whether you like it or not, and your opinion is wrong, don't try even to prove yourself right. Then in this case, that kind of attitude will need you lower. And that's the meaning of al mira When you discuss, when you start arguing, some people sometimes when you discuss with them, you can tell. They have no knowledge, and they just argue. And those are the people that you should not be discussing with them at all. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi then he said, قَالَ وَبِبَيْتٍ فِي وَسَطِ الْجَنَّةِ لِمَنْ تَرَكَ الْكَذِبَ وَإِنْ كَانَ مَازِحًا 
And I also he said guarantee the, a home in the middle of paradise for one who abandons lying even for the sake of fun. You know some people they make big lies just to make a, a prank or a joke out of it. They cause a lot of damage, emotional damage, sometimes financial damage, and they just want to make fun, just joke about it. You know the very famous story of the boy and the wolf? When he kept calling the, the town saying, wolf, wolf, and everybody came out, he just laughed at them because he was just trying to make a prank. So they leave him because they know he's a kid. You cannot make a lie just to make people laugh. That's, a, that's something that's considered responsible, and it might cause actually really serious damage. How many people they fell into troubles because they just, they made, a, they, made, they made up a lie, and they thought they were just joking about it. So it's a very serious matter. And the third category, the Prophet ﷺ says, and he said, and I guarantee uh, the, uh, the prime portion of paradise for one whose conduct is excellent. So the prime location in Jannah is that for those who have the best akhlaq and the best manners. He mentioned two qualities of good manners before, but then he summarizes that. He says, listen, somewhere in the middle, somewhere in Jannah is guaranteed for you. But if you want the prime location of Jannah, then you need to have good manners and good akhlaq. This is the most important thing. We've been discussing that for the past few nights, that it's one of the most important things that guarantees people al Jannah. And of course, when you have your position in the prime location of al Jannah, who is going to be your company, al Jannah? Al Anbiya, wa Shuhada, wa Salihin, wa Hasan al All these righteous people, the prophets, the messengers, the martyrs, the righteous ones. All these are going to be in this in this location. So this is going to be your company in Jannah in Jannah al Firdaus. Allah majal na min ahl al Firdaus al Aalim Rabb al Aalamin. Alhamdulillah. Wa Rasulullah Nabiyyul Muhammad Alaihi Wasallam. Any question, Jamaa? Yes. Hal al Miraq wa nafsi Jadal? Hal al Miraq wa nafsi Jadal? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 It's that, yani, that pointless discussion. It's beyond the debate point. Beyond al Jada. Wallah. Nah. So then. Is it that Yeah, sometimes al Mira is just is done because some people they want to show up. That's one that's one reason. But another reason, you start with the right dialogue or discussion or debate, but then when someone is cornered, they turn into Mira. So they, they know that they cannot, they cannot you know, yani, uh, uh, win. So they start just taking that, that nasty route of just arguing for the sake of argument. Once you get to the point with, uh, to this point with anybody, you should not continue. Because, you know, you're going to hurt yourself, hurt that person, waste your time and waste your deed. So just quit and leave. Wallah. By the way, this hadith don't apply it between a husband and wife. <laughs> Between husband and wife, if someone says well, she's always arguing, this is for the sake of arguments. No, if a husband and wife they go through a lot of that tough times, they need to seek counseling. <laughs> for sure, yeah. So yes, of course, if, even a husband and wife, you know, should avoid argumentation in general. But if they really go through this very often in the relationship, then they should definitely seek serious counseling. Wallah. <laughs>